next tonight. Two London boys who both love boxing but don't like each other at all. When they square up at the O2 next Saturday, they'll be settling a feud that has lasted for years. Super middleweights James DeGale, the British champion, and George Groves, the Commonwealth champion, are going head to head. Not so many years ago, they trained together at West London's Dale Youth Amateur Boxing Club. But the pair became arch rivals after Groves beat De Gale in their only meeting as unpaid fighters. However, it was De Gale who then went on to national acclaim when he won an Olympic gold medal as a middleweight in Beijing. But it was Groves who was the first to win a major professional title, the Commonwealth Championship, even though De Gale won the British title a few months later. As professionals, both men have unbeaten records. James has had 10 fights in total, with 10 wins and 8 of those by knockout. While George also has an impressive record, winning 12 out of 12 fights, with 10 knockouts. And here they are, sitting apart for obvious reasons. Uh, good evening to you both. James, I say for obvious reasons, but there'll be people watching this who'll say you don't dislike each other that much, it's just about selling tickets. No, we, we generally do not like each other. Like, the rivalry goes back years from his, from his amateurs. Uh, he lived in my shadow for a lot of his life, basically, and uh, when in our national championships, uh, he beat me a Dodgers decision. Uh, then I eventually went on to qualify for Olympics and win an Olympic gold medal. So obviously he's going to be bitter, he's going to be jealous, but uh, hey, on the 21st of May, he's got his chance to, to get in the ring with me. George, was there a specific incident that sparked the rivalry, or was it just grow up over the years? Um, no, I mean, you heard it from the horse's mouth there, I beat him as an amateur and that was the real key force behind the fact of that the shame that he's had to endure since so as he says he's getting his chance May 21st to get redemption but he's uh, he's gonna fall far short. See it has been said and I say this as someone who doesn't box please don't hit me <laughs> that you're quite bitter about the fact that he was uh, selected to go to the Olympics and you weren't. Very bitter. No no not at all I mean I was um, upset that I didn't get a chance to sort of have a go as it were I, I says I beat him and uh, that was it. The decision was made to send him, even though he wasn't the right guy to send. Uh, he ended up coming back with a gold medal, so you have to hold your hands up, say, fair enough, he done his bit. But the fact remains that he is not better than me, and I'll prove that May 21st. And the fact remains that the only time that you two have fought together, he beat you. He did, he did. Uh, it was a dodgy decision. Uh, it's amateur boxing, it happens. it happens. Does that prey on your mind at all? No, not at all, because I used to spar him day in, day out in the gym, and he used to bat him, he used to move around the ring and ping him, but we're in the professionals now. And I'm looking to go in there and taking his head off, full stop. OK, I need you to be the big man here and say, he's obviously a good boxer, he's not a bad boxer. Yeah, bat never aside. Yeah. Um, so what are you worried about when you go into, round against, into the ring against him? On a serious note, nothing. I've got everything covered when I get in there. Uh, we've covered everything. If he comes to fight me, he's getting knocked out early, if he wants to play Mr Technical, it could last a couple of rounds more. But uh, he's getting knocked out. Full stop. You, you do have another ace up your, your sleeve in that, that your trainer is mm -hmm. the same guy who trained David Hay, who did rather well. In fact, he was sitting in this studio not so long ago yeah. talking about how he's become the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, well, I've, I've got a great trainer in Adam Booth and um, I'm happy about that. Uh, the fact remains that I will beat James DeGale. You know, his, his strength is that I know he's up for this fight. He's, he's chomping at the bit to get there. But um, his horse is for courses and he just won't be able to sustain What's what I'm bringing in. So. At the end of the fight, whoever's won, will there be a gentlemanly shaking of the hands and that's it, feud over, time to move on? James? After I've knocked him out, yeah, I'll, I'll shake his hand and, and, pat, and pat him on his head and, and say well done. But uh, You're not helping matters at all here. No, well, yeah, well, as I say, when the rivalry goes back, I don't want to be his friend, I've never been his friend. But after I've knocked him out, I'll shake his hand. All right, very briefly, rivalry aside, it's a pretty good thing for London boxing that you two are at the top of your game, yeah? Yeah, it's fantastic. We're going to have a massive uh, sellout crowd, by all accounts, at the O2 Arena. It's, uh, it's on pay-per-view and uh, it's a huge, huge fight that everyone wants, wants to see, everyone's excited about. All right, George, James, may the best man win. Thank you. I'm uh, certainly not going to make any predictions, but uh, place your bets. Here comes Robin with the weather forecast.